Welcome back, everyone. Let's screw around this town and see what it has to offer. I suppose for beginners, the weapons and armor shop would be ideal. Hang on just a moment, I know you guys don't want to see all this crap. I'm gonna configure this. Okay, I never understood this. I've seen video games where they have this bastard sword. I don't get it. Where, where did that name come from? I mean, isn't that supposed to be an insult? Okay, anyways. Let's see what else is here. Ah, a magic guild. So you guys know the drill. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna screw around searching through all these books, hoping to find a spell. Zealous Brit is described in the book, and it is now listed amongst our spells. Cool. Let's have a look at it. So it's a level 8, and it's part of Demona Crystal and Astral Vine as well. I'm pretty sure it's neutral. I could be wrong though, but we'll find out soon enough. And apparently we've missed a few. I really don't know where magic level 7 is supposed to be, but oh well. We'll be fine. Let's get out of here. What else does this town have to offer? Hmm, not much. Just the usual junk. Hmm. I guess we might as well head over to the castle. Uh, they're not going up the stairs, what the heck? Hmm. Well, that's strange. Does this dude have anything to say about it? Actually, we're still constructing the stairs. Since we're broke now, we had to stop short. This is so lame, will we ever reach the top floor? Okay, well, that's kind of dumb. I, I mean, they would they would have to have some access up there. That doesn't even make sense. Maybe this side has it? Okay, well at least they've got the people here. What's your deal? Yes, yes, oh, it's you! Ugh. Okay, what about this old fart? Ugh, if you came back here to torment the princess some more, that's really tacky. On the other hand, me. He must be annoyed with her. Why did you come back here? Destroying the town wasn't enough for you, huh? And here we have the derpy music. It wasn't I, so I'm wondering if my copy was to blame. Yeah, that must be it. Did you see your copy did it? Don't make me laugh! Thanks to you, the town is destitute! I'll be forced to settle for half wages in a part-time job! Curse you in the day we all laid eyes on ya! <laughs> Knock it off, princess. Crying won't make our poverty go away. Grandpa, are you planning to sell my prefecture at a rock-bottom fire sale price? To let it go so cheaply just to raise a bunch of stimulus money? It's not only unsound economic policy, it's just plain stupid! Mm, oh well, old Cranby, what have you got to say to that one? Lena isn't lying. Her evil copy has caused plenty of mischief in a whole bunch of places. Well then, prove it! Uh, 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 uh did, did you say prove it? Well, I have places to go, things to do, and people to see. I'm not wasting any more of my precious time wallowing in the bitterness of this squalid dung heap of a town. I love how witty Lena is. Then listen to me a moment, I have a rich relative in Figaro City just south of here. I'm thinking of borrowing some money from him. Of course I'll need you to come along as my bodyguards. After I receive the funds, I'll pay your compensation, but if you don't accompany me, I'll be forced to take a menial job. If that 
happens, I'll dislike you immensely for the rest of my <laughs> life. <laughs> Jeez, what a freaking melodramatic loser. Okay, okay, but why me? I guess we have no choice but to help you. So I'll do it, but yeah, first stop that infernal wailing, will ya? We said we'd come along, got it? Okay? So reluctantly, we signed on as Princess Lemia's official escorts. Just fantastic. Oh, then you agree? Before you leave, I have something I need you to deliver. My job is to protect the princess at any cost. So take this to the head wizard on the top floor of the magic guild. Oh, is this what I'm hoping it will be? Please escort the princess through Cliff's Labyrinth and get her to the lake and beyond. So let us return to the magic guild. And this is essentially why I skipped the top portion, even though I normally don't. It's because I remembered that we do have some sort of letter to deliver to that geezer up on the top floor of the guild. So we give him Cranby's letter. Oh, what, you want to learn magic? No, I refuse. I won't teach magic to the likes of you, is what I'd like to say, but since you have a letter for Cranby, damn it, I don't have a say in this matter. And we learned magic level 9 from this highly obstinate, pissed-off wizard. Wait, Cranby wrote more on the back. Let me finish the rest of his letter. Whoa, what's this? So you didn't destroy our town after all? And that's what really happened? Hey, I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You're guilty. So I guess we might as well head over to that cliff area. And, oh, one more thing, I suppose I might as well show you guys what Lena learned. So magic level 9 is Burst Flare and Ragna Blast. Obviously Burst Flare is a fire spell, and Ragna Blast is one of the most useful spells in this game. It's neutral, and it attacks all monsters. I'll show these all off at some point or another. back everyone what, what's the deal with this spooky old cave I I get the eerie feeling that someone or something has been tailing us for a while now you too I was just thinking the same thing maybe we should go back and investigate no it's too late to turn back now no telling what it is we should just forge ahead this really sucks I don't know which is worse turning around and facing the threat behind us, or stumbling into a trap that someone has laid up ahead. Princess, do you know of an alternate route we can take? No, this is the only way! Look, you promised me an escort to Figaro City! I expect you to do your job! We've made it this far, no matter what pops up ahead, I'm sure you can handle it! Am I right? The Princess of Tyrell is a bigger pain in the but then she's worth, but... Uh, I guess since we agreed to it... Did everyone see that? I could swear that someone is back there just as I thought. If so, I don't expect it to be a friend, so just keep moving east and see what happens next. Really? Because it's so tempting to just go up to them and face them now. Hmm. And the sucker just runs away. What do we got? Cure stun. That'll come in useful later. 
I don't think we've actually encountered any monsters that give the status ailment of stun. Eek! Mm. This is becoming bizarre. Is someone out to nap the princess? If so, who could it be? And what does he want? Say, princess, that's twice you've sensed the rocks coming. Can you tell us when and where the third one will fall? Sorry, but I'm fresh out of Crystal Ball, so let's just keep moving forward, okay? As you can see... Oh. I believe our skulking stalker has returned. The same guy who's been out there all along. Ah, uh, is that the same one? That someone is out to kill us, I believe. I'm gonna fix his clock good when I catch him. For crap's sake. Wait a minute, you... Looks like he's fleeing again, but I still wish I knew his identity and his intentions. And here we are in some lake area. So there's Minna, a doggy. Roop, roop, roop. And let's enter this little house and see who's inside, or perhaps what. Ha, <laughs> we walked right through him. Oh, is that really you, Lena? How many years has it been? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to our chess match without further delay. Wait a second, when I visited here before, was I what people consider an evil person? No, you've never been an evil person. Oh, maybe you've done a few crazy things, but you've never been one who acted truly evil. Except maybe toward bad guys. Why do you ask? I was just wondering, that's all. So forget about it. Did you say... chess? Well, now that you mention it, I've heard some bad stories lately, but that person sounded like a total stranger. Compared to the Lena I know, I figured people must have you mixed up with someone else. Oh well, that's how it is. You know how some folks can blabber. Anyway, I guess I should allow you to concentrate on our chess tournament. Let me know when you've had enough. Haha. <laughs> ha. Yeah, checkmate. Your skill has improved. If I'm not mistaken, my previous cap... You, cap, it, cap, cap it, 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 shut up, I don't want to hear about it in the comments. Don't say anything. Came at the hands of the king. You played chess with the king? I haven't told you before? Well, a long time ago, I was the king's own bodyguard. Looking back, that is how I came into possession of this fine but secluded estate. Heh, <laughs> I'm impressed. By the way, what brings you here out of the blue like this? I'm escorting the princess from Tyrell City to Figaro City. But how did you wind up at this particular out-of-the-way location? Because we thought this was the only route, Sir Cranby of Tyrell ordered us here. He told us specifically to escort the princess to Figaro City by way of Cliff's Labyrinth and Lake. The princess herself claimed that we had no alternate route, although things got weird in the moment we entered the tunnel. But she wouldn't turn back. Even after someone tried to kill us, somehow the princess managed to ward us each time. Really, how odd. Well, I have relaxed here long enough. We should get going pretty soon. Huh? Where is the princess? I don't see her anywhere. Oh, no. What do you suppose happened to her? Hey, take it easy. I believe she took a stroll by the lake, that's all. I'll go find her. Well, let's check, too. With all those monsters running amok, she might get into trouble. Oh crap. What's going on here, Cliff? Hey, you arrived at just the perfect time, but the princess here is... But... Oops! Help! Help! Save me! This is gonna chew up some of my time. 
that the princess should be out of reach. What the hell? You won't get away with this. Just leave the princess to me. The rest of you can take care of this idiot. Yo, bud. Where do you get off calling me names, huh? Sticks and stones time, pal. While you're sweating the small stuff we're holding payday for screwing with the princess a gang of girls is about to stomp your sorry criminal rear end into cranberry juice. Surely you just, sweetie. Hey, you're pretty, and I just got enough time. Yep, I'll take my pleasures with all three of yous. Come here now, all of yous, especially the dark-haired strumpet. Come to daddy, little girly. He's gross. Let's demolish this fool. So I guess I might as well show off some of the new spells that we got. Like Burst Flare. And let's see which other one was there. Um, Celis Bread I did not show off yet. Ha, <laughs> and only 400 experience goes to show how weak he was. What? <laughs> uh, ouch, you're killing me. S stop it. Get off me. Hey, the king m might have pardoned me, but look at this m mess. My face. Y you've ruined my good looks. Haven't you heard of the due process of law, you damn sadistic psychos? Die, roach breath. Kicking him again, Silphy. Harder! Do a tap dance on his purdy face. Eee, how do you like me now, daddy? And I'm not going to say the onomatopoeic words. Heh, <laughs> there goes the gentle priestess theory up in flames. But, 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 come on, him or us? And the boat's just sitting there. No way, he caught up to us. I am so going to murderize that jerkwater dork. The tricky assassin triggered a booby trap in the boat, immediately plunged overboard, and stroked to safety. Haha, -ha, so we finally meet. Hmm. Wait a second, something's not quite right. Those stinky kidnappers threatened to kill the whole lot of us, and I thought... Quickly, we must abandon this boat. Jump overboard. How come? What's going on? Listen, I don't have time to explain. Just move, will ya? Close call. Thank you, Sir Cliff. Are you okay? Yup. I'll probably survive a few more years if I... Only I can... <gasps> Cliff! Cliff, wake up! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get him into the house and try to patch him up. R right then I moved my bishop and took his knight b before he could... Uh. Hey, he's finally regaining consciousness. Hmm? Uh, oh yeah, the princess. Is the princess safe? Yes, I'm safe and sound thanks to the heroic actions of Sir Cliff. And because of my powerful resurrection incantation, Sir Cliff should pull through also. But if you stick around, you may be targeted again. So hurry up and clear out of here. Alright, Cliff. Thanks for looking after us. The chess tournament was fun. Yesterday I did a lousy job. Next time I'll show you no mercy. Okay, I guess this episode has been long enough. I suppose I might as well cut it off here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.